Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? Happy Thursday. And since it is Thursday today, we are, of course, going to be reading through an Ekengar Soul Adventure e-booklet by Harold Klemp. I have been deep diving the cult non-stop for the last couple months, so check that out. And without further ado, I'm going to roll my intro and then we're going to get right into the cringe. Life has a wonderful way of uh, nudging us back on track. And the mind has a very natural tendency to want to go back to the track it came from. Mind. So the experiences in life They'll see us having a good time, easy going, easy rolling. And then suddenly things will turn around and things go wrong. And then all of a sudden an individual says, help master, I'm gonna get out of this. <laughs> Pay your dues, stick around. Put your attention where it belongs again. Try to get those habits back on the right track and all things shall be well with thee. <laughs> It's like a long, high grade to get back on the track we've been. And so we finally get there and then everything's going good. We're dancing along, moving, having quite a good time. And all of a sudden we slip off. It's like slipping off a mountain road and landing on a road beneath us. long, painful climb starts over again. Let's say, how can I keep my inner fire alive? Don't worry about it. Life will take care of it. Mahant is working with you. <laughs> Whenever you get too far off track, you'll get nudged right back on. It's just the way life is. It's just the way life is. Mahant is working with you. <laughs> So yes, today we are reading Ekinkar Soul Adventure, Divine Guidance, Gifts of Intuition, Dreams, Nudges, and Signs. We are learning to work with intuition, which actually is spirit speaking to us and giving us the gentle guidance to make our life better, of course, by Harold Clemp. Divine Guidance, an ex-soul adventure, and of course we have our friend the Eagle here. We still need a name for this guy. Come on guys, leave it down in the comments. All adventures are spiritual experiences that touch us at the very core of our being. You are soul, an internal, unique, and beloved spark of God. As soul, you have the God knowledge within you. The God knowledge, the only knowledge you need. Stories, inspiration, spiritual exercises. I think it says this in every book. Discover how listening to your inner guidance, a divine gift, can bring answers on how to better navigate your days, give you confidence in your own spiritual compass, and inspire you to self-mastery. Self-mastery? Well, I guess it could be self-masturbation, so at least it doesn't say that. 
The word Ekinkar means co-worker with God. We need to define it in every single book. It is the path of spiritual freedom. Ek means life force, God current, or Holy Spirit. They pray to the Ek. Mahant is working with you. <laughs> that field again. Meet Harold Klemp, of course! <laughs> a spiritual teacher who can help you on your path of spiritual self-discovery by writing these very general e-booklets that really don't tell us anything. <laughs> Harold Klemp is the spiritual leader of Ekinkar, the Mahanta, the living Ekmaster. His role is to awaken the god knowledge and love for the divine things already in your heart. Sounds sweet, but don't let him fool you. He's a darn cult leader. <laughs> As the inner and outer master, he gives spiritual help via talks and writings in the dream state and in the spiritual world. Sounds like it would be in the nightmare state because if this man ever showed up in one of my dreams, I would flip the hell out. I mean, look at him. <laughs> this is him. <laughs> He says here, You are learning how to get your own answers so that you can go through life with self-mastery. And I don't even think this guy here has learned how to go through life with self-mastery, but I guess we gotta take the advice from him. <laughs> Always the same picture. We, we got a garage sale going on, I guess, and uh, it says, Welcome the miracles! How do you recognize truth? Well, I can tell you that there's none in this book. <laughs> As soul, a spark of God, the love bond between you and the life force, the Ek, is as natural as breathing. Divine Spirit is always working on your behalf, and you can attune yourself to its love for you. Inner guidance is one of its many gifts. And just like in most Christianity, we are capitalizing the first letter of every word that we use to describe the Ek, their version of God. Surely you've had the experience of getting just the right nudge at the right time and adjusting your course for a better outcome. Or perhaps you've relied upon your intuition to good effect in matters otherwise opaque. Welcome, little miracles of wonder. Magic everywhere in this bitch. Do you know he said recognize miracles? It's all around you, you don't even know it. Aw, it's so cute. Blessing along a blessing. Irene, in quotations, so I guess that's not her real name. Heaven forbid we actually give the real name here so that we can check if these stories are true, but anyway. Student of Eck was on her way to a store when she saw a sign that read, Garage Sale. Sure, you put Irene in freaking quotations, but then you don't- anyway. It sparked her curiosity, so she checked it out. To her disappointment, there were mostly items for babies and little children. Not much for Irene, a senior citizen, okay? But over to one side, she spotted a child's rocker. For some reason, it just struck her. Like the rocker hit her? That's not good. I hope she's okay. She's old. I think everywhere in this bitch. Then the quiet voice of the inner master said, <laughs> Buy this rocker and it will give great comfort. Curious, Irene bought it. I mean, I have to admit, if I was at a garage sale, then some voice all of a sudden said, Buy this thing! I'd probably have to buy it too because I would be like, I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, what if I know? That night, her daughter came over. Her daughter is a teacher at a special needs school. <laughs> They're all just such great people that tell the stories in these books. Irene happened to think of the rocker, which was still in her car. That's how much she cared about it. She just left it in the car. She asked her daughter, would you be able to use this? Her daughter agreed to take it to the school. Did following a recent nudge bring you a blessing? The next day, after lunchtime, all the kids were supposed to nap. Okay, I guess we're uh, with the daughter now at the school. But there was an autistic child who would never settle down. Autistic child? I prefer child with autism. But anyway, maybe that's just me. I like the person's first approach. He just roamed the room in circles. Never any rest. The teachers had to keep a close watch on him. Which is their job. However, on that day, his eye caught sight of the rocker on the far side of the room. He went over to it, sat in it, and rocked, and rocked, and rocked. It felt so good. Did he say that? Like, did, did you ask him? Kind of steal the emotions of this story here as your own. When Irene heard about this, which now we don't put her name in quotations, by the way, she had her confirmation. 
Indeed, the rocker was giving great comfort. Such are the simple ways divine spirit finds willing helpers to pass along a blessing. Yeah, th that's what it was. It wasn't just the fact that this was all a coincidence. She just happened to buy the rocker, give it to her daughter, and then it just worked. It has nothing to do with any of that. It was definitely just the divine spirit who was uh, finding helpers to pass along a blessing, and he made all of this happen. Mm hmm Well, we can go with that, I guess. Have you experienced a miracle? Magic everywhere in this bitch. The Ek teachings offer spiritual exercises to enliven your personal connection with the God current. It's funny now, we're getting right into the Ek teachings. With a little practice, you will come to trust this endless wave of love and guidance as you navigate your days. Enjoy the miracles! Magic everywhere in this bitch. <laughs> so basically, we're just supposed to be going through life waiting for the Ek to come and talk to us to give us miracles. This is a pretty picture, and I really hope that this is original artwork that's put in this book, but I mean, at least for once, they actually have some art in one of these e-booklets. I've been very disappointed with the illustrations of the past ones. Try a spiritual exercise. Bring upliftment to your life. Upliftment? Why does that sound so weird? As one develops the inner link with the divine spirit, one's ability to take charge of his own life increases. Sure it does. If people would trust their heart and know that if they love God and open their heart, if they love God through loving their neighbor, they would find that God brings help, guidance, and protection to them in ways that most others don't know. So yeah, it's very confusing how this book refers to their version of God as the Ek for most of it, and then will randomly throw in the word God. So I have a very hard time figuring out if this so-called religion worships God as God, as most Christians see God, or if they have a complete different entity that is X. It's very confusing to try to figure that out as you're going through all of the stuff to do with this cult because they just keep going back and forth with what they call their divine spirit. Magic everywhere in this bitch. <laughs> the way to do that is to sing here. Of course it is. A sacred name for God. You just sing this very quietly to yourself or inwardly, which apparently means like just kind of think it. You may see the light of God. It can be a blue light, a white light, a yellow light, or a green light. You can see it many different ways. So sing you a love song to God every day. Magic everywhere in this bitch. Just walking down the street, seeing all the street lights. Like, there's the act there! Or you may hear the sound of tinkling bells, a flute, a full orchestra, or something as simple as a sigh. Yeah, because if Eck is looking down at me, they're definitely sighing. <laughs> but you will be filled with love. There will be some kind of communication from God, directly or indirectly, so that no matter what happens in this moment, we can tell you that it was communication from God that will bring upliftment to your life that was never there before. You like sing the hue, that's what they mean. They're talking about when you sing the hue. I know, it's very confusing. Sing hue, and this will help open your heart to God's love. Then you will find miracles happening in your life too. If you don't sing Hugh, then fuck you. You get nothing. <laughs> Sometimes the Holy Spirit may work in a gentle way. It may give you just a nudge, a feeling of how to act, what to do, which dentist to go see. That's a little weird. Something right down to earth. Just waiting for them to tell me that they believe that the earth is flat. Oh, thank God! Okay, globe earth, we're okay. How to sing you! Lord, again? Every single book, the answer to everything is to sing you. And then they give you instructions on how to sing it. Like, people are actually dumb. And, like, you can't just explain to them to sing the the word hue constantly like you they even tell them like take a breath in between like oh lord it's like yeah please tell us to breathe we need instructions for that sorry i'm again i'm not reading through it you can check out the first few books if you need the tutorial hue Sacred sound, ancient mantra, the field again. Oh my god, now we're in an ambulance, why? Divine help abounds. And then this part here is by Mark Supplic 
Sublinskas. 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 Anyway, th this dude. Not Harold Clem. Did you know help is as close to your heartbeat? Here is how one man received divine guidance to find a new and fulfilling career. Magic everywhere in this bitch. I had always believed that if I earned a four-year bachelor's degree, I'd find a good job. But I was about to graduate with a degree in biology, and job prospects were few. Yeah, such is the economy right now, and I think we all grew up, especially us 90s kids, we grew up with parents telling us all you had to do was get an education, and then you would get a career, and everything would be great. You could go buy a house, you go buy a car, everything's wonderful, you got your white picket fence, go have your family, and, and that's just how it happened in the 50s. So you're, you're just experiencing what we all do after school, my dude. I knew I was in trouble when my academic advice or leaned back in his chair and said, I don't know why I all of a sudden became like Australian, but anyway. Well, you can always feed lab animals. What? Is this? That's a, that was rude, okay? That was rude. Listen, okay, that academic advisor should maybe lose his job. He seems like a lab rat himself. Look, I'm just saying. After graduation, I tried my hand at a number of different jobs. I worked in a group home for those with intellectual disabilities. Then I worked in a psychiatric ward for children with- oh, Wait, what was your- You said a bachelor's degree in biology. That's where you got a, a job? You didn't need, like, any training in psychiatry or anything? Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know, maybe the state's works different. I was trying to find my way. One day, I made the acquaintance of a man who was a registered nurse. Who can work at those jobs, but you aren't supposed to, but whatever. Hmm, not a bad deal, I thought to myself. Good pay, license, and you can help patients teach or work in administration. It seemed like the right job for me. Though like many people, you went into the wrong career choice and then decided you wanted to do something else and now you're gonna go into the right one? Magic everywhere in this bitch. So I applied to the School of Nursing at the university I graduated from. I was promptly turned down. Wait, what? Why? That doesn't usually happen. Like, when did you like not get good grades with your bachelors of biology? Like, usually they'll take you back as long as you don't owe them money or something. Next, I applied for graduate school, hoping to pursue a master's degree in biology. That school turned me down too. Okay, at this point, dude, I'm pretty sure that you got some bad grades or something, and that's what's going on here. Now what? Good question. So there I was, standing in the middle of the campus in midsummer with no place to go. I don't know what happened to the job he had at the psychiatric ward, but anyway. I looked within to the Mahanta, the inner side of the living Eckmaster, because we haven't read that a million times in this book by this point. The Mahanta is always with its students and can guide them, if they ask and if they listen. Discover more about the inner master, the Mahanta. Whenever you get too far off track, you'll get nudged right back on. It's just the way life is. So I asked, now what? This was a conversation of the heart between me and my inner guide. Like your intuition, I'm pretty sure that's all it is. He replied, go to the school of nursing. D he got turned down. What do you mean, Egg? He can't do that. But it's summer, they're closed. There's no one there, I amused. <laughs> that too. Just go over to the school of nursing. Seems like a bossy act, I'm saying. Damn bossy Mahanta. What do I have to lose, I thought. I hiked over to the school. It seemed miraculous, but the door was unlocked. So I walked in and committed breaking and entering. A receptionist greeted me. What was she doing there? I thought it was the summer, anyway. Magic everywhere in this bitch. <laughs> Have you ever unexpectedly received divine help? Can I talk with someone about getting into the school of nursing? Well, no one is here, she began. Then she glanced up and noticed someone walking in behind me. Oh, it's the dean. I didn't expect her back today. <laughs> yeah, this happened. Magic everywhere in this bitch. Another minor miracle, yes. Another fake story, yes. The receptionist asked the dean if she could talk with me for a few minutes. The dean said, sure, then invited me me into her office and opened my application file. It was right there on her desk. Wow, amazing. What a coincidence. Magic everywhere in this bitch. It's right there, eh? Like, top file folder? You don't say. A third miracle. Yeah, we're just collecting them, aren't we? Because of that Malhanta you got, isn't it? We talked a few minutes, and then while scribbling on a slip of paper, she asked, Look, 
take these three classes over the summer. If you get good grades, because obviously his grades were crap, but that's why he can't get in anywhere, we'll let you in. So I did. And they did. And this is a real thing that happens, by the way, if you're applying to a university and you need better grades or a class. So it's not really a miracle. And then everywhere in this bitch. Being where you are most needed. Being psychic? Over the years, I've worked as a registered nurse in hospitals, psychiatric wards, outpatient hospitals, prisons, and rehab units. I don't know why he had to go back to school. He was already working in the psychiatric wards, apparently, with that bachelor's of biology. I have worked as staff nurse, head nurse, nurse supervisor, and assistant director of nursing. I just retired after 17 years as director of nursing for a state veteran's home and hospital. And I mean, that's great. Good for you. But they had nothing to do with a god. That was you and your hard work and your determination to continuously go and visit the nursing school, which was just a thought you got in your head. But anyway, as a nurse, I've seen and experienced a lot. But most importantly, I found I was always, next page, just where the Mahanta wanted me to be, with people who were in trouble and needed help. After you were in trouble and needed help with your grades. The Mahanta is not a job placement service, which you also could have gone to to get help after you graduated. But anyway. But if you ask and if you listen to his guidance, he will help you be where you are most needed. I'm so sure he will. Whenever you get too far off track, you'll get nudged right back on. It's just the way life is. <laughs> Spirit is always with us, always guiding, always protecting, always attempting to bring joy and make our life better. But that doesn't mean that we are always aware and listening. Again, like, it doesn't say who says these, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be Harold Klemp. This is another, like, little piece of art, which isn't that bad in comparison to the past books. I, I don't know where they are. Uh, they must be in some kind of dream state or something, stuck up there in Eck world, but whatever. Answers to your questions about divine guidance. Does God actually speak to us? God speaks through the voice of conscience, holy scriptures, feelings, and even the positive urgings of other people, which this is what I mean. So they say God is basically everything. It's any feeling you can feel, your intuition talking to you, any holy scriptures you read, or any other person just being positive to you could apparently be God. This is so general so that it can be applied to anything. It's very easy to manipulate people into believing that a God is doing something for them when you just say God is everything around you. And anything positive, any positive urges that you have or other people being positive and urging you to do good things must be God speaking through them and the likes. When really it is just people living their life and whatnot and, and you get some normal feelings and intuition and then having some friends, you know? Yet there are other ways. Oh, please let us know what they are. God's voice also reaches us through human love, intuition, dreams, the spiritual exercises of Eck, because of course you gotta do those, or a direct experience with the light and sound of God, which again is just singing bitch. Today, listen to the whispers of your heart. Showers of love rain down upon us simply because we are soul, a divine spark of God. They're like trying to put us out, because if we're a spark and then there's water that comes... When you're having any kind of trouble, just call me on the double, sorry. And you want an insight into what you can do or an understanding to get through the problem, sing the song of you. When you need to know what to do, sing the song of you. It's a, uh, I mean, whatever. You, the answer for everything. But first, Fill your heart with love. And how do we do that? Do we just sit here and think of all the great things in our lives? Listen to God's voice. Respond to it spiritually. And know that despite every appearance to the contrary, all is well. 
and in its rightful place. In what ways do you perceive God's voice? Like a homeless person sitting on the side of the road and he's got his box there and a sign out that says, please give me change. And he's like laying there like, oh my God, I just need a sign. And then some stupid person that believes in Ekinar comes up and says, don't worry, all is well. You're in the rightful place. And he just hits her on the head with the sign. Sam, I mean, if you can make up stories, I can too. <laughs> Hugh has the power of God. And it has the love of God. So wait, is is it now Hugh? Because it says Hugh has the power of God and it has the love of God. So, I mean, because God can't have the love of God. Like, you know, that would be a weird way of putting it. So I think, I guess we're now capitalizing it when we talk about Hugh. Soul doesn't think. It perceives advanced spiritual living courses. Go higher, further, deeper on your path of spiritual self-discovery. What will you experience? This ever-expanding adventure can bring you personal transformation from the moment you begin this includes monthly self-discovery courses with advanced spiritual techniques for private study, opportunities to explore the courses in small group discussion classes, quarterly letter and updates from a God-realized teacher with timely perspectives, spiritual initiations, profound steps of enlightenment. The same thing every time. A community of like-hearted people who respect spiritual freedom and love truth. Opportunities for further spiritual training and service. Start your egg adventure today! AdvancedSpiritualLiving.org Of course, we got the membership shirt. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, we have the membership services again. And then... Ekincar, the path of spiritual freedom, the brand logo. And uh, I guess that's it for our uh, book. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was an Ekincar soul adventure, divine guidance, gifts of intuition, dreams, nudges, and signs by Harold Clem. <laughs> Did it give you a sign? Like a sign that you never want to join this cult ever? Same. So I hope that all of you are starting to see that there's a very big pattern in all of these e-booklets. They always introduce Harold Klemp in the exact same way. They always give a tutorial for how to do Hugh. At the end, they always invite you to do the spiritual living courses. And then, of course, it has the exact same format of having two personal stories, one usually shared by somebody that's not Harold Klemp, and then one that Harold Klemp is like retelling that apparently prove that the Ek is real, the Mahanta is someone that you should look up to, and that this religion is the religion that will help you get closer to God and live your life very, very well. We only have a couple more to go through, and then we are done this series, but I am also streaming about once a week now where we are deep diving the website, his other belief systems, and anything else that he has, and there's other books we'll be doing in future, but we have one more e-booklet that I want to read before we get deep diving into some of the other stuff, so that will be next Thursday. So subscribe for more Ekinkar cult content. I have joined the cult in order to get an inside look at things, and we're going to be getting into that very, very soon. I just, of course, want to give you guys a look into what literature they are forced to read when they join. Upon joining, you are told to buy all of these books or uh, download them for free, because you can. And you're everywhere in this bitch. And then read through them all. The repetitiveness is an obvious manipulation tactic. And everything in these books is so general, including the advice that they give, where it could be applied to any situation, any story, and then they tie it back to whatever the topic of that book is. It is a manipulation tactic that is used in a lot of religious cults, and again, we are going to get deeper into all of that as well in future, but I hope that you enjoyed another e-booklet review. So please do give it a like if you did enjoy this video. Again, subscribe if you are new here. I would love it if you joined our fabulous, amazing members. All of the beautiful people do, and you don't want to be ugly like the cult leader, Harold Clout. <laughs> yeah, he's not that great to look at or listen to, by the way. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous day. Take care, and I will see you all very, very, very soon with another cult video. Mwah! Bye! And remember, don't join the cult of Ekinkar! And you're everywhere!
What you are listening to is a group of people singing a sound that helps them expand their awareness and enjoyment of life. This technique has been taught for thousands of years by spiritual teachers who have understood its value and power to open the heart to God. It's an easy exercise of singing the word hu, H-U, like hu. Usually it's sung by yourself, but sometimes it's done in a group. Hu is an ancient name for God, a sound you can use to help tune in to the ever-present reality of God in your life. Everywhere in this bitch. <laughs>